you too what's good with you man it's your boy neo cannabis back with another video and today we'll be talking about vendor relationships um so really i've been getting a lot of questions on this subject um just like hey where do we get our product from or how does that how does that work how does that process work can you talk more about it so um basically with the whole vendor relationships it's really just dependent on trust and kind of the amount that you want to buy because obviously if you're a new business it's going to be hard for you to get a large amount of product and for them to just front it to you because in the last video we talked about 14 and 30 day relationships so today I'll be touching on how basically you could start your whole business for free kind of with no money down not really for free but you don't have to put any money down so how that whole process works is um so depending on what state you live in if um you live in a state where cannabis is medicinal or if cannabis is recreational um you'll try to you have to do a lot of research on your own you'll try to you'll have to find these distribution companies um so basically what distribution is these are companies that sell b2b so these are companies that sell directly to you they can they don't sell to the consumer so if you're a delivery service like me we are only we're b2c so we sell business to consumer but b2b business to business makes sense yeah so really um on that so you have to do uh, again you have to do your own research you have to look around search around you have to find different businesses that um that sell um wholesale to um companies like yours and then you know you'll reach out to them you'll you'll ask hey can i get a menu um you'll see what products they have um what you're interested in you could also ask for samples that's what we do we get a lot of samples we'll, we'll have some um sample sample tests and things of that sort on the channel as well but um so you ask for samples you'd be like hey you know can i get some samples um, i'm interested in these products um what's the pricing when you get the the menu you ask you know hey are these uh prices are they set in stone or you know do they, are they flexible depending on the quantity that you get um and then once <clears throat> once um you you do that you you know you talk to them about the products that they offer and things of that sort then you'll go and you will ask hey you know um we're a new business um we don't have a lot of capital starting up is there do you offer any 14 to 30 day um terms so basically what that is is um you don't have to pay them back until 14 whichever you decide upon whichever you they agree upon most most companies will start you out on seven or 14 day but um um you know as you build bigger longer relationships you can you can get a 30 day term so basically what that means is you don't have to pay them back until 14 days after they delivered your product so that can help a lot depending upon um the if you have if you already have a good uh, customer base and you know how much product you're going to sell um then you can order that amount of product that you can estimate that you're going to sell and by the time that 14 days is up you already have the money back to pay them from what you already sold so basically you never used any of your money to pay them that's you know that's business on one one on one you never want to use your money when starting a business or buying things for your business you know you always want to put it on credit and things of that sort or use somebody else's money you never want to use your own money so that's you know a great opportunity for you to start your own business basically for no money at all this is a huge opportunity and most most cannabis companies do this so um i mean most most companies do this but you know just really in any industry but um i would say you know all the companies that we deal with they offer 14 to 30 day they offer some type of terms whether it's seven to 30 to 14 day terms and um as far as finding these people it's it's going to be a lot of work um depending on the the region that you're starting your your cannabis business in the state um california it's a little bit easier because we get 
hundreds of emails every week of vendors contacting us because cannabis is, you know, of course, it's recreational. Um, it's, it's legal throughout the state and our business. We have a license. So um, these these vendors, they go onto the state website and they find our business and they send mass emails out to every business that has a license. So it's, it's one one specific place that they can go to to find your business and market and market their products to you. But when you're uh, in a state that's medicinal, where it's kind of a gray area to where if, you know, to the legalities of everything, then it's going to be a little bit more challenging to find these businesses. And this is really important why, for the reason why I wanted to tell you guys this, because this is the mistake that we made in the um, when we started our business, because we actually went and raised a bunch of capital to buy product um, because really that's gonna be your big, biggest expense when you start a delivery service is just buying product because you gotta think like all you need really is product. You're gonna need like a little location which you can find something for five, 500 to $1,000 a month. And um, you know, you don't wanna pay for workers yourself um, which will, you know, will touch, you know, starting off, you don't want to pay for employees and things of that sort. You want to prevent those costs as much as you can when initially starting your business. Um, but, you know, that's the mistake that we made is, uh, yeah, we just try to raise a bunch of capital. We really didn't need it. And we could have just um, we could have just really went without it and just did these 14 and 30 day terms and as our business grew we would have scaled appropriately because we would have known how much product we needed to buy within the 14 or 30 days and you know significantly increased it as we gained more customers and more traction and at that during that whole process we would have never used our own money because every time we got a delivery we would have sold it all by the 14 or 30 day mark and if you know if it's ever getting close to that 14 or 30 day mark um to where you you don't have the money to pay it back these these, these vendors are you know they're flexible they understand you know that you're running a business and things happen in business you know it's all about everything's about communication and how you talk to people so you know so if if it ever does come a situation where you don't have the money to pay them back at the 40 or 30 day mark you just tell them you know look you know we we've had we ran into some issues um this month you know it's a little slow month um you know we'll have we'll have the money to you within the next couple of days and this is not the this is not like the stereotypical drug game or something like that this is a business so these other businesses understand they're not going to go out and you know try to rob you or something it's just all about communication you know just staying keeping them updated on why you didn't have the money to pay them back and they'll understand um and you know if you just keep that level of trust um, it's not going to be a problem at all. That's really what I wanted to touch on um, pertaining to the uh, vendor relationships and, you know, all the questions I've been been getting as far as um, how to find vendors and how to find product. Um, so really just to recap, in certain states, these people, once you, you know, establish your business and things of that sort, you get on Wee Maps, these people are going to come out and reach out to you. And it's your responsibility to understand the pricing. You want to understand the market, what these certain products are going for in your market and what other delivery services like yourself are selling it for. And, you know, it's about negotiation as well, because you have to have that, you know, you can't just go for anything. If somebody's telling you, for example, like, hey, this is this is thirty dollars an eighth. You have to know what is a thirty dollar eighth in your market. If that if it's really a thirty dollar eighth wholesale, if you're talking about wholesale thirty dollar eighth, you're going to probably sell it for sixty, seventy dollars. Um, you have to know what it what what that eighth is going to look like because they'll just keep ripping you off over and over and over again so that's a lot to it as well you have to know your market you have to know what product is worth in your market 
and what you're gonna sell it for. You know, I've been seeing a lot of videos of uh, people, they're not even in the industry, they're talking about, oh, you can make, you know, you can make $7,000 a pound and things of that sort. Like these people don't know what they're talking about. They have, they don't run businesses or things of that sort. They don't have a delivery business or, or a dispensary. The money is not as lucrative as you think. You still have to pay taxes. You still have to, you know, you have to have employees. Once you scale it to a certain amount, you know, it's it's just like running a regular business. And that's the con misconception that a lot of people get um, when they get into the cannabis industry. Um, it's still a regular business. You still have to work hard. You still have to market yourself. You still have to provide excellent customer service. So um, that's something I don't, I know I, I in the first video I said that yeah it is an easy business but it's easy in the sense of once it's scaled appropriately you're gonna be making money around the clock without doing anything but that's after the hard work is put in it's gonna take four to five months of extremely hard work building your client base building your customer service building all your protocols your processes things of that sort which we're gonna all we're gonna be touching bases more on um in future videos but um yeah that's you know i don't want to keep you guys too long um you know i'm gonna close it out here if anybody's interested in one-on-one -on -one consulting it, it is a fee it's gonna cost money i mean time my time isn't free i have other businesses i've been getting uh, emails and things of that sort um on specific questions relating to their specific um their specific situations you know i'm already giving a lot of value out on these videos um because i've been in the industry for about it's about to be three years um again we we've um already scaled our business we're gonna hit about 1.8 million in uh, total revenue this year. So um, yeah, again, I can't, um, I can't get to everybody. I've been getting a lot of support and things of that sort. You know, if you're interested in, in one, of, and, and again, it shows that you're serious because I don't want to just spend an hour of my time and then you don't even go and do, you know, the, you know, you don't even do anything um, after I gave you, you know, much of my time. So again, the, the, you paying money to me shows seriousness. It's not that I'm just about money and things of that sort. So, um, yeah, again, if, if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one consulting, uh, my email is down below. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Um, it will show um, people like you. It will give people like you, you know, the opportunity to learn more about this great industry. And, um, yep, I'm out. Appreciate it.